Welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and today we're going to be looking at a screen protector from AT&T for the iPhone. Um, this they call their naked shell with screen protector for iPhone 3G. Now um, it's a clear case. It's here shown in the box. I'm going to show you how you actually put the phone into this case. It's a little bit difficult to get into. That's one of the challenges that some people have mentioned in the reviews. Uh, the case itself essentially slides in two parts. Um, you first insert the phone here. I'll go ahead and show you how you insert the phone into the case and then uh, from there you'll want to uh, put the cover on. So it's going to take me a little minute here just to get this all adjusted. What you see on the back is you push down on this little button and I apologize for having to do this uh, with one hand but anyway um, the, the case sort of slides off. You take your phone, insert it this way, and then slide the, uh, the back of the case back on, which goes like that. So now that the phone is in the case, you can kind of see how one of the advantages of this case is that it offers a screen protector. Um, so that's that's a real advantage. Some people are trying to sell screen protectors for twenty or thirty dollars, just a piece of plastic that sticks on your iPhone. So uh, to you know, thirty dollars to get a case and a screen protector, that seems like a pretty good deal. Um, it's it's nice that the case is clear. Uh, that's sort of uh, an interesting aesthetic advantage. But that's kind of where the advantages end. I want to point out a few problems with this device. First of all, the machining, what's what's called the machining, machining or finishing work on the product, it, it has some pretty sharp edges. So if you're using your iPhone for just occasional phone calls, um, you'll probably be okay with this. But if you're really intensively using like lots of different apps, anymore if you think about it, the iPhone has become, it, it's your digital camera, it's your video camera, it's your calendar, it's your telephone, it's your whatever. Uh, so people are handling the device quite a bit, and that's why Apple put quite a bit of energy into developing the smooth contours of the iPhone to make it comfortable to touch, you know, for several hours a day you're handling this device. So to have these very kind of sharp, unfinished edges on this case, uh, I think is problematic. I used this for kind of an extended period of time, and I started to notice my hand getting red just from the, the handling of it. So that's kind of the, the immediate problem you're going to notice. The second thing is, I'm trying to turn the phone off. I can't do it because my finger, the only way you can get down in there to the power button is to like poke your finger down in there. Well, if you're used to just kind of tapping on the phone and turning it off, you're going to find that kind of a nuisance. You've got to get in there with your fingernail or something. Um, similarly, the headphone jack, uh, you may have known that you know early on with the first iPhone there was a recessed headphone jack and that created quite a bit of a problem in the industry because people said hey my headphones don't work anymore well we're back to that again because with this case um, if you have let's say a right angle headphone jack plug that many people use so it doesn't get broken off it's a really good idea to have a right angle plug on your headphones well anyway that won't work with this um, and many plugs won't work with this case. So there's this hole for your headphones, but it's like way down inside there uh, with the plastic thing. And um, also here on the left side where the volume control is, it's sharp. So when you're reaching in there to do the volume, you might sort of cut yourself or maybe like a paper cut or just a little bit of skin shaved off there. Uh, and, and the volume control isn't easy to get to. It's, it's recessed, it's down in there. Same with the mute. Um, so they, they really didn't think through the design of this very well, I think. They could have easily designed it a little better, having smoother edges, um, having more of a tapered design, you know, where these recessed holes are. If it was just tapered a little bit, you'd be able to get in there and get to the buttons. So um, that's a little bit of a problem. And then finally, the plastic itself is really brittle. It's not, uh, it doesn't seem to me like it would be very strong in the event that you might drop the phone I'm thinking this thing's just going to shatter into a bunch of pieces. I don't want to test it, obviously, because, uh, you know, I'd lose 200 bucks or whatever. But um, anyway, oh, and then finally, I guess the, the final item is, most of the time with an iPhone, you're touching buttons and things in the middle of the screen. It works fine. Um, I do notice a little bit of this screen protector. It does diminish the sensitivity of the iPhone's touch-sensitive screen. It works, but not quite as well, not quite as 
responsively. Okay. Um, the other problem is that on the edges, on the edges where the screen protector is, there's a little bit of gap between the screen protector and the iPhone. So it's enough of a distance that when you're touching the edges of the phone to, let's say, for example, you're on the home page and you're moving one of your icons to another screen, as soon as you get to the edge, the iPhone won't interpret that. It won't sense that your finger's at the edge. So, um, in fact, any of the buttons, like at the very bottom, at the very top, anything on the sides of the iPhone, uh, there's really a diminished responsiveness to the touch screen in those areas because of a limitation of this case. So, to recap, the edges are sharp, they'll cut your hand, the buttons are hard to get to and almost kind of difficult to reach, headphone jack doesn't work, volume control hard to get to, uh, and the screen functionality, the touchscreen functionality is diminished. So anyway, that's a, just a quick review of the um, AT&T naked shell with screen protector for iPhone 3G case. I think the, you know, the concept is, is wonderful, the idea of having a case with a screen protector. I think as an alternative, I'd probably recommend um, just buying, they have a three pack at AT&T for 10 bucks, you can get screen protectors. So get some of those and then get one of the in-case iPhone um, protector cases because those are a little bit rugged, a little bit more rugged. Um, they don't diminish the touch screen functionality and they give you easy access to the power, to the headphone jack, and the volume control. So anyway, uh, I hope this review has been helpful. Once again, Gregory Johnson at Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com signing out and hoping to see you again here soon. Thanks.